The moral of this story, this video, is always read instructions. Don't do what I do and just cast them to one side. <laughs>so a few videos back i did a review of my exposure lights my six pack and my diablo and had nothing but great reviews for them always have i think they're a great company love everything they stand for the build quality customer service the products they work they're brilliant the only downside to one of the videos that i had one of the products that i had was this the diablo i think it's a cracking light great spread great beam great power great battery life as long as it's managed right leading on to that the downside i had to it was the tap function so tap function for those of you that don't know basically when your lights on your head as long as you've got it in the mode you can tap your helmet and it will change brightness which on paper brilliant function but out in the field and the riding i was doing it didn't really work too well for me mainly because when you hit the rough stuff and you're going down you hit any kind of big bumps, anything that was rough, the light would actually go low, medium, bright, low, medium, bright, low, medium, bright. And it was really off-putting. Exposure actually seen this video and reached out to me with a solution, which was in the instructions, but they did email me. Because uh, like I said, I am rubbish with instructions. I get something, my partner will tell you, when I'm building something, any flat pack furniture or anything, instructions, pff, don't need them off to one side to go end up having to backtrack and then redo it and the tap function on this i have not been using since because it was put off putting and like i said they reached out to me and they did tell me a way that you can change the sensitivity so for those of you that don't read the instructions like me i'm going to show you how you actually change the sensitivity the sensitivity of it if you look on your light you'll actually see a chart just here turn it the right way around you'll see a chart just there and each one of these is a program and it corresponds with so if you can see there program one on high you'll get one hour of of, of light time the medium three hours low you'll get six hours and so on as we move down the chart um, each one I'm not going to go through all the different programs this video is about the tap function so the way you access the tap function is from the off position with your light off obviously you press and hold the power button on the back and you'll the light will flash a few times there and then that one flashes program one program two program three program four program five program six program seven program eight program nine let go now that is your tap function see out there i went on the solid light so that tells you that they're in that mode now, if you read, if you take the time to read your instructions, it actually does tell you, and these are what I got emailed off them very kindly. And as you can see there, one tap when that green light's on, most sensitive, two taps, medium sensitive, three taps, least sensitive, then four taps will deactivate the actual tap function. So let's give it a go. So I'm gonna do, tap one most sensitive and then we'll go down to then we'll jump to three but it will be hard to uh to tell on a that it's working so so we'll press and hold the light one two three four five six seven eight nine the green light comes on tap the back of it and you see how the light flashed so there it's in the read the instructions again <laughs> It's in the most sensitive now. So, this will show you. So if you can see my light is on there at the moment. And if I tap the light, you can see now how it's changing. It's showing the bright one. It's, it's hard to distinguish on the camera between medium and low. But you can see, you can clearly see that it's changing. Now, I'm gonna put it in its least sensitive now. So we'll turn it off, press and hold the power button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait for the green light, then one, one, two, three. I don't know if that done that right then. 
button if I've knocked it off. I'm sure that was three. We'll turn it on and we'll have a look. So now the light's on and then there should be a difference. So you see how it's not changing? We'll give it a harder hit. It looks like I've turned it off. Start again. Oh no, there we go. Can you see how it changed then? So I had to give it a right good crack for it to change. So as you can see there, now there is a significant difference between the least, the most sensitive and the least sensitive. So if like me, you're an idiot and you don't read the valuable instructions, read them or watch this video and do try out all the different functions because it does do a lot. The Diablo does do a hell of a lot. It is an absolute cracking light. And that tap function, I will be using it again. I'd actually turned it off and I've not been using it for a while. It's not much of a headache to go on, you know, to go on the back of the light and press that. But if you're going, I don't know, if, you, if you're going into a descent, and you don't want to be stopping and fidgeting around trying to find it, especially in a cold night when your hands are cold, you can literally just tap your head and the light changes. So it's it does save you seconds, it does make your ride more enjoyable. I think it's an absolute cracking feature and it's just made me enjoy my light that look that little bit more. Now, like I said, I will be going out in the next few weeks and uh and doing a mountain bike ride please do consider pressing that subscribe button and also i want to say a big thank you to exposure for reaching out and correcting me on on a how to use this tap function it is a worthwhile function and it is worthy of doing please as always do consider press, pressing that subscribe button and if like me you're an idiot and didn't know this please uh comment down below and let me know anyway until the next one take care guys have a good one. Bye.